ES Audio. Hi, I'm John Weeks, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, why lab-grown chicken could soon be on the menu. But first, a 4,000-year-old Stonehenge-style religious site has been discovered in the Netherlands. About an hour's drive from Amsterdam, archaeologists have discovered the Sanctuary of Teal, a site made up of burial grounds and ditches thought to have been built to align with the sun on the summer and winter solstices. Like Stonehenge, the Dutch version's main burial mounds passages are lined up in a way that creates a solar calendar. Things like human skulls, offerings like animal skeletons, and even valuables such as a bronze spearhead have been found at points where the sun shone through the openings on the longest and shortest days of the year. The team also found a mysterious glass bead, believed to have come from 3,000 miles away in what is now Iraq. The US Coast Guard has confirmed Ocean Gate's Titan sub that went missing around the Titanic shipwreck on Sunday suffered a catastrophic implosion. In consultation with experts from within the Unified Command, the debris is consistent with the catastrophic loss of the pressure chamber. The tail cone of the vessel was discovered around 1,600 feet from the bow of the Titanic wreckage at the bottom of the North Atlantic, but five major pieces of debris helped to identify it as from the Titan submersible. A senior US Navy official told the Wall Street Journal that secret US Navy underwater microphones actually detected the sub's implosion hours after it lost contact with the mothership on Sunday. The families of those on board, including Londoner Shazada Darwood, his son Suleiman, and British billionaire adventurer Hamish Harding, have paid tribute to them. Lab-grown chicken meat has been approved by the US Department of Agriculture, meaning it can be sold for consumption. Two companies in the States, Good Meat and Upside Foods, have already received their first customer orders. Lab-grown meats created by taking stem cells from animal fat or muscle and then stimulating the cell growth in a lab using a bioreactor, a similar process to brewing beer. So far though, production costs suggest the lab-grown chicken will be expensive, at least to begin with, so you'll need to fork out to give it a try. Scientists have traced the DNA of a previously unknown species of giant geckos after analyzing a supersized Victorian era specimen from Marseille's Natural History Museum. It's a large stuffed gecko, and when I say large, I mean enormous. It's about the size of a cat. Unlike most reptiles and amphibians that are preserved in spirits or alcohol, this gecko has been stuffed uh, like a taxidermy. That's Tony Gamble, associate professor and a herpetologist and evolutionary biologist at America's Marquette University, who explains the difference between geckos and other lizards. One is the smaller bead-like scales that are typical of most geckos, although there are some exceptions to that. The geckos are also well known for having sticky or adhesive toe pads that allow them to climb up walls. And the geckos also lack eyelids like snakes. Because the two-foot-long specimen named Delcourt's giant gecko was stuffed, some bones remain for extracting DNA. We sequence that DNA and then use those little bits of DNA that we sequence to compare to a whole host of other geckos from Australia, New Zealand, and New Caledonia. And we built an evolutionary tree or phylogeny, and we found out that it's most closely related to the geckos from New Caledonia. Dr. Gamble was visiting London's Natural History Museum, where he shared details of the team's discovery. The NHS is expanding its use of AI with new funding for tech that can help to diagnose diseases and treat patients faster. AI is already being used for things like analysing chest x-rays and diagnosing strokes. Now though, bids are being welcomed for any AI diagnostic tool, but the Department for Health and Social Care says they'll have to represent value for money for the funding to be approved. Dr. Catherine Halliday from the Royal College of Radiologists said there's huge promise in AI, which could save clinicians time by maximizing their efficiency. Coming up, the NASA team's about to spend a year in a Mars simulation and why Marvel's been criticized for using AI in new series, Secret Invasion. Why not hit follow and give us a rating during the break? Welcome back. 
four NASA mission members are set to spend a year in a Mars simulation habitat ahead of future missions to the Red Planet. The volunteers will spend 378 days in a specially designed enclosed habitat from this Sunday. And it won't be an easy ride either. They'll face challenges similar to a real Mars mission, including limited resources, confinement, equipment failures and environmental problems. The crew will have things to do though, like undertaking scientific research, looking after crops, maintaining the habitat and performing Mars walks, while their health and performance is monitored by NASA. New legal powers have been promised by the government to stop bereaved families being stonewalled by tech firms if their child died after accessing harmful content online. A package of measures to give coroners access to information held by technology companies is set to be brought forward as part of the online safety bill. Culture Minister Lord Parkinson said that would include information about how a child interacted with specific content online, as well as the role of wider systems and processes, such as algorithms, in promoting it. And finally, Marvel's been criticised for using AI to generate some of the comic book style artwork in the credits for its latest series, Secret Invasion. Things have gotten much worse. Stephen Ford, a director, described the decision as a slap in the face to literally every artist Disney has ever worked with, and independent artist Kelly McKernan tweeted, the use of AI was absolutely disgusting. In response, though, executive producer Ali Selim defended the decision, claiming it played into the themes of the show, which features shape-shifting aliens called Skrulls invade Earth. You're up to date. Come back at four o'clock for The Leader Podcast to find out about the girls in Zambia trying to stop climate change. We're back on Monday afternoon at one. See you then.